first bow I'm going to show you how to do is the very popular, super easy cheek bow for the cow shape. So I want to say this one, I'm just going to do the bow. I'm not actually attaching it. I'm putting a different bow on this one. I'm just using this freshie as um, my template to show you how to do it. So first, what you'll need for this is grain ribbon. I think that 7 8 inch works the best, but sometimes you find really cute ribbon that's just a little bit smaller. This is the 5 8 inch, and this does work too. I just tend to prefer the little bit thicker for this particular one. So I'm going to start by getting out some ribbon, and how I typically measure it is I start at one ear. I wrap around the cow and I stop at the other ear. Now for this video to make it a little bit easier to see, I'm going to cut extra ribbon to make it easier for me to pull under the loops. And I like to just melt the edges really quickly so that it doesn't start to unfray while I'm tying. All right. so. I'm going to start by finding the center of the ribbon by just folding it in half. So now that's the center. I'm going to try to just place the cow um, close to the middle. Now, if you were actually working on a real one, make sure you get your string in first because where we're going to be putting the hot glue is going to be over the hole where you would typically put your string through. So always tie your string on first before you start adding your ribbon. Now, I'm just going to fold the two pieces over and make sure it's all nice and plush. And see how I did left over right. So we're going to start like this. And then we're going to take this ribbon, we're going to push it behind the other and underneath. We're going to pull it through. Sometimes the ribbon can fold up like this before you put, pull it tight and just kind of fix it a little bit, roll it underneath if you have to. All right, and you don't want to pull down to where the ribbon's going to be over the cow's face. You want to keep it up kind of high so that it's positioned in the correct spot. So once again, left over right. Pull it under. I like to make sure that it's kind of bunched up on both sides, so I kind of roll it. And then, once again, this ribbon really likes to flip. So I just want to make sure that none of that white is showing, which you can always fix a little bit after you're done. <clears throat> All right. So now, first we went left over right. Now we're going right over left. And we're going to make a crisscross like that. And so our top ribbon, once again, is going to come behind and through the loop. And then when we start to pull, you'll notice that this is staying flat and very square, leaving that kind of false bow look. I'm just going to pull tight. I'm just going to try to Turn this back a little bit. Now, if I was going to attach this one to this actual cow, this is the point where I would then add a dab of glue and then secure it to the top. But since I'm not going to actually put it on this cow, I'll show you. See, I don't like the way that's flipping around. So, like I said, you can always play with it a little bit if you have to to get it looking exactly the way you want. <clears throat> we've got that part down and then we're going to cut the ends. I just go with the angle of the cow's face. So on this side we'll do the same thing. It's a lot easier when it's actually glued down it stays still. And we have that basic part. And then 
I go in and get the edges. We're just going to pretend like that's glued up there, but that's the end result of that little cow's cheat bow or headband bow. That one's super easy. Next bow is also super easy and what I like to call a no tie bow because you don't actually have to make any knots to form this bow. It's super easy. This one you will need one and a half inch grow grain ribbon. So the one I just used, that was the seven eighths. It's quite a bit thinner. So you're gonna need this thickness and this type of ribbon works best because it's a little stiff. Um, you can try to use others, but it's kind of flimsy and it doesn't really hold its shape. And then you're also gonna need this thinner ribbon. This one is three eighths of an inch. And this is gonna be the center part of the bow. I'm gonna start by cutting approximately six inches of ribbon. And then we're just gonna fold these two ends over to where they slightly overlap. And then we're gonna find the center and that's where we start and you want it to be folded. And we're gonna flip it over. So this is where the, the end is, the loose end is. We're gonna flip it over to the flat side and we're gonna push the middle down to fold in half, but then we're going to bring the edges back down, folding them in half as well to create an accordion style fold. And this will set the basic shape of our bow. So this is the point where you can see mine's a little off center. So I'm just gonna scoot my fingers down to where it looks a bit more even. And I'm just gonna pinch it like this between my fingers, holding all the little folds together. And I typically do forget to do this part first. You need to cut about, <clears throat> I don't know, I think I usually do like an inch and a half to two inches, but I all the time forget to cut this piece before I'm already trying to hang on to the bow, but you can make it work. So, and we're gonna take, sorry I bumped the camera, take our hot glue, and we're just gonna carefully, because you don't wanna hit your thumbnail or your finger, because I'm sure if you've ever worked with hot glue, you have burned yourself in the past. Just put a little dab, it doesn't need to be a whole lot, because we're gonna be adding a little bit more in a second. And we're gonna put that right there in the center, and then I'm gonna fold it around and fold it around one more time to where we complete the loop. And just for security's sake, we're instead of gluing right directly above where we attached it, I'm gonna come around to this other side. Still just doing the same thing, keeping it pinched, adding a little bit of glue, and then folding that over that glue dab. And holding it in place. And I'm gonna come back, cut a little bit of this tail off. I don't want it to be showing on the front of the bow. And that's that's it. That's how quick that one was. And this one I typically also use on the cows. So I would glue it on like that and I think that's fine. Just add a glob of glue here. In a position where you want it. And then of course hold it until it's secure. You can use this style of bow on other freshies, um, crosses, cow tags, just anything your imagination can come up with, really. 
uh, little cactuses or, or anything you wish, but that's a super cute bow. Doesn't involve any tying. So the next one I'm gonna be doing is very similar to this one, but I'm gonna be adding tails. So this one we're gonna start just like the last one. We're gonna have our one and a half inch ribbon. We're gonna have our three eighths ribbon, but now we also have added a piece of seven eighths inch ribbon. And I have cut this one to the same size, about six inches. This one a little long, about two to three inches. And then this one, um, the seven eighths, eighths inch I cut to about four inches doing the same thing we're just going to repeat the same thing over again we're going to overlap our ends push it to the center flip it over fold down into the middle and then fold our edges back over for our basic shape we're going to make sure that we get it in the center where we want it dab of glue place oh look I got ahead of myself so this is actually where we're gonna start now we're gonna take our seven eighths inch ribbon and we're gonna fold it in half and then we're going to fold it in half this way so we've got this going on and we're going to bring this piece up underneath this piece and we're just going to hang on to it with the bow now we're going to add our dab of glue securing ribbon to the dab of glue and we're going to wrap around just like we did before add our second dab of glue and I'm going to bring this one over one more time so that the end of the ribbon is hid hidden a little bit So I'm just going to hold it until the glue holds it into place. Fold all this over and cut my little tail off. And then this is the basic shape that we have. So I like to cut these a little triangle in them so we fold them in half and then we take our scissors and we're going to cut diagonally from the center of the fold to the outside edges of the fold and so when we open it up it creates that look but just because I like to melt my ends so they don't fray I always before I actually let go of the fold right after I cut it. This is the best way to melt the edges when they're like this. It's almost impossible to do once it's open because it's the shape. <clears throat> We're gonna do the next one. Same thing, cut diagonally from inside corner to outside edges. Melt the edges so they don't fray. Sometimes they stick together like that when they melt, but they easily just fall apart. And that is that bow. And I would typically put this on a freshie 
I'm just gonna do this one, finish it up on video. So I printed this little piece of cardstock to squash blossom. I'm gonna glue it right there in the center. Just with a little bit of hot glue. All right, I had to get my string tied on. Just gonna apply my glue. Press and hold it into place. And same thing like with the previous bow, you can use these on any design that you wish. Next one we're going to do is very similar to the previous two, only it's going to be a double looped bow. So we're going to start off the same way, only instead of just cutting one six inch piece of ribbon, we're going to be cutting two. Once again, this is the same stuff, the one and a half inch. And then we have our thinner middle ribbon same thing fold over push down in the middle flip over fold down fold back okay and then we're going to do the same thing with the other one Hold this with my other hand. Flip over, fold down, and back. So now that we have both of them, we want to make sure that we're looking at the same side on each one, and then we're just going to stack them, pushing the middles together, just like that. And then same process with the gluing, just holding it by pinching it as much in the middle as I can get it, applying a small amount of glue, taking my centerpiece ribbon, placing it in the middle, wrapping it around. And then I've got a, don't have a long enough piece to go around a second time, so I'm gonna leave it about there. Put some glue on the back of the bow. Fold my metal ribbon over. Don't wanna push it too far forward because I don't want it showing in the front. And I'm just going to cut the tail off. Make sure that's secure before I let go. All right, so now that makes a double bow and it may take a little bit of a fluff to get it perfect. But that's pretty much what you've got there. And so I'm gonna be adding this one to this cardstock freshie right at the top here. I'm gonna take my hot glue. I'm just gonna place my bowl, bow, and uh, firmly press. So now we have that one. The next one I'm gonna be doing is the same first steps, the same basic part of the bow, but I'm gonna be adding tails to this one. 
So once again, repeating the process, we have our one and a half inch grow, grow grain ribbon. We're gonna cut about six or seven inches, two pieces. I'm gonna cut about four inches of our center ribbon. And then a piece of our seven eighths inch ribbon. Um, I'm gonna do about five inches this time to make it a little bit longer. I did not get these very exact. And if I don't make sure they're pretty close, my loops will come out different sizes. So now I've got them about the same size. Once again, repeating the process all over. Folding the ribbon over. Here. Now we're going to stack these, making sure that we've got them going the same direction. And we've got those stacked. Now we're going to take our ribbon for our tails. We're going to fold it down the middle like that. Make sure that we also have this facing the direction we want it to go so that the tails are facing the front. And then we're just going to stuff these right in there along with it. Now we're holding all of the layers together. And doing the same thing here with our glue and our center ribbon. Making sure we don't burn ourselves because that's awful. Wrap it around. holding it until it's secure. Once you think it's well enough secure, go ahead and cut your tail off. And then we're going to, just like we did before, fold our ribbon in half. You know, and you don't have to cut them this way. I and mean, if you wanted to, if you wanted to cut them whatever angle that you want, I just think that this way is super cute. So that's the way I typically do it. Gonna fluff like we did the last one to where we get it shaped how we want it. That's the double with the tails. And then I usually use this on my crosses because it's really the it's such a big bow, it's it's hard to put on anything else without just completely covering the freshie itself. But I think it's really cute on the crosses. I'm 
And then we have that one. On to our last and final bow. This one I originally was not going to include in the video because it is one of the ones that I find most difficult to do. So, and I was really just trying to demonstrate some really simple, easy, quick bows, but I had a special request for this one. So I'm going to include it. This one I would say only really works with the 7 8 inch. I have used the smaller 5 8 inch, but um, it just didn't come out as fluffy and as cute. So I would say if you're going to do this one, definitely go with this width. Also, once again, grow grain works the best because it's stiffer. So we're going to start this one by laying it across our hand. And we're going to leave about two to three inches of a tail. And we're going to wrap over once. And we're going to wrap over a second time. And then we're going to cut about six, inch six inches extra. So we've got this side, and we've got this longer side. And then you're going to bring it off your fingers and kind of pinch all of the layers together. We have this one hanging out. I like to go ahead and flip this one around because if you left it like this, it'd be facing the wrong direction. And once you have it tied, it's kind of hard to do from underneath the knot. So I like to just kind of fold it a little bit underneath and hold it with my finger while I do the tying. So we're going to bring this extra tail up over and then we're going so we just brought it over came down from the back and then you see this little loop here this is what we're going to bring it through we're going to go from this direction and we're going to pull it through this way like i said i have the most difficulty with this bow in particular in all aspects of making it it really wears on my patience sometimes. It does come out to be a really cute bow, but it takes some practice and a lot of patience. So what I like to do from here now is put all of the loops onto my fingers and then I just tighten it up. One of the frustrating parts about this is it seems like every time you tighten it up and you let it go, it just comes unraveled again. I'm gonna make sure our tails are going the right way. So this is now the front of our bow. Always make sure you get it in the center. At this point, because it does like to unravel, I just like to put a little dab of hot glue in the knot so that while I'm shaping it, it doesn't start to come loose on me. So just let that set for a second. All right, now that the glue is it's cooled off. Now we just separate the loops. This one wants to keep going back in there, so I'm going to try to pull the opposite direction so that it kind of lips over the other one and stays. And then the same thing again with the tails. I'll leave these a little bit long. I don't actually have anything to put this one on because this was a last minute request. And you can just fluff it and puff it more to where it looks how you want it to look. And then sometimes I put these on 
can make little Highlander cows that have hair and I just literally glue it right to the top of the cow's head, just like that. And that's it for this tutorial. Those are all the different bows that I do for my cows and my cardstock. I hope these were easy enough to follow. I know sometimes it's really hard to explain and really demonstrate how they come together. But hopefully this was helpful and you'll be making your own bows soon. Thank you everybody for watching.